Hey guys, Bay Area Aquatics here, coming at you with the first part of my 60 gallon shallow reef build series. As you can see, it's all the stand is all done, tank is in place, plumbed and everything, and I'm just going to show you guys what I have going on and what some of the plans are. I have some pictures of when I was building the canopy and the stand, so I'll show you those along the way. So first off, I'll show you the stand. So I'm just going to show you the design of the stand, all it is basically is two frames like this, one at the bottom, one at the top. I have two supports on each corner. They're in through pocket screws. I did that with a little um, this pocket jig right here. You basically just put the 2x4 in there, clamp it in, and drill down in these holes. So that holds it nice and sturdy like that. And it also gives me a lot of room in there for um, putting my sump so I don't have a post right there. And I just did those in all four corners. Down here I put some plywood, this is where my sump's going to go. I may or may not waterproof it with some waterproof paint and maybe like hawk it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet, but there's also just um, supports running down it. And up top you can see there's a couple supports there, I have, and then I have a plywood top. For the outside I use quarter inch plywood, not the nicest stuff, but I just wanted to paint it black anyways. I need to do a couple layers of paint still, there's parts missing. And then just wrap that on the outside, I cut this hole for access to the sump. I don't like having doors on my stands. And then I did two corners here and I just basically added this trim right here, glued it in place. I'm missing some on this side because the glue, um, it just fell off. That's okay. And then as you can see, on top I have, there's a layer of styrofoam protecting the tank. The canopy, I decided to do a floating canopy, that's because my lighting is basically two metal halide pendants and I was also going to have maybe some LED strips or T5 strips for actinic lighting in there. And I want this tank to be really clean so I didn't want any cords or anything like exposed. So I did what I did was I decided to do a floating canopy which you can tell over here we have these two posts right here. I just basically I bolted those to the stand and then to the canopy again and they're pretty sturdy they're not going anywhere I mean it wobbles a little bit but that's just the nature of it I just need to do some painting and this is the canopy it's made of two by ones right here just a basic frame inside right there some supports and then I, that's where I put my lighting I wrapped it the same way I did the stand with the quarter inch plywood and the trim on the side and then the lighting, I just put that there just to see where it's going to go. This is my, one of my halides. I, the plan is to put it on some sort of rail system so I could like slide it around. But that's just temporary right now. I just have it screwed in. So that's basically the canopy. Also probably going to put a top on it right here. And maybe install some fans. And this is my tank. This is my 62 gallon shallow reef. It's 5 foot wide, 2 foot front to back, and only 10 inches tall, so it is a very shallow tank. I bought this off Craigslist, and later I found out that the back glass was tempered, so I actually had to replace the back, the back pane of glass, so this is a kind of a DIY tank, almost. And then I also figured out that it bowed, but this is all quarter inch glass, so I needed to install two Euro braces, one right here and one right here. It bowed a little bit more. But then I installed my overflow, which is a coast to coast overflow from, and so that added some support so it doesn't bow at all. And as you can see, I went for a bean animal style overflow. I just need to plumb everything in. I got some unions in the ball valve right here. I need to plumb everything in. I'm not sure which one is emergency or drain or whatever, but I'll figure that soon. Got all the plumbing in, got the true union ball valves. These are the ones at Lowe's, they're not the $20 ones at um, Bulk Reef Supply. But they, they're pretty smooth, better than the cheaper ones. And then for returns, I, I actually like the returns I did. I drilled them, I'm going to do lock line like this. I'm gonna, I need to paint all these fittings because you can see right through it. And then so I did the lock line, this is 3 quarter inch lock line. I have the, um, the spray nozzle return. I can point these anywhere I want. These are perfectly um, on each third of the tank so I can get even flow. And then right here I have the switching current water director, also known as squid, plumbed in through soft plumbing unions. This way I could take it apart and clean.
clean it very easily because these things are known for getting gummed up so I just like, probably need to give it a vinegar bath or something like that. And basically if, if anybody is unfamiliar it just switches the current. Anyway, so I have this thing attached soft plum there, hard plum unions. So I could have it set up like that. That way if I could replace it with some PVC. And attached to that I have this check valve right here. This is the cleanable ones. It's pretty expensive. And then that's just going to be hard plumb to my pump. So that's basically the plumbing. I try I'm trying to keep it pretty simple. I wanted this element in here just to create some more flow and I wanted I wanted all these unions so it could be accessible for cleaning and maintenance but that's it as far as plumbing goes I still need to order one more um, lock line tube right here. I have the end piece I just need the actual segment so I need that and then here's a shot from the back. I mean, My garage is pretty messy got a lot of projects there's a light. I'll talk about the lighting more in depth in another video. I still need to plumb everything in. There goes my, my new puppy and my old dog. And that's about it. Here is my sump while we're standing right here. Just in case you haven't seen it. Very e simple. Auto top off section, um, return section, bubble trap. This whole thing is going to be skimmer, live rock reactors, everything. Um, the plumbing is going to come through here through these bulkheads I need to get two more and then if Mr. Seasup is watching this is a little glass piece that I'm going to be sending him it fits perfectly in the width all you gotta do is silicone it so I'll be sending that out to you shortly I haven't forgot so that's the tank guys shallow rimless awesomeness gonna be a full blown reef soon that's about it I'll keep you guys posted thanks for watching